You know what was like a really, really, really good sports story about a million to one shot? Rocky. Rocky was a great sports movie. You know what was a movie that tried to be a really good sports movie that was about a million one to one shot but didn't quite hit the mark? Million Dollar Arm. Um. So yesterday I watched Million Dollar Arm, which was a movie I was really excited for. From the trailers, it looked like a really touching sports movie, which uh, I'm a sucker for sports movies. I've always loved them. It was a bit of a put-off that it was about baseball, but you know what? Uh, most of these sports movies don't really focus on the sport too much. It's usually the story, so I didn't mind. Um, uh, Million Dollar Arm follows a sporting agent, um, John Hamm from Mad Men. Uh, the, the character he played, his name escapes me at the moment, but um, basically he's hit rock bottom. You know, their their business, they've got no major clients. I don't even think they have any clients, so they really need a poor rabbit out of the hat if they want to stay afloat. Um, so one night he's watching cricket, a sport he absolutely hates, and he sees how fast these guys are pitching, and he has uh, he, uh, it spawns an idea. He thinks, hey, how about we go to India? and we see how fast those cricket players can throw a baseball and maybe we'll find the next big thing. So they do it and it's a big contest called Million Dollar Arm and there we have our movie. Um, my main problem with this, mo with this movie was that it really forced some things. Um, more than anything it really forced the cultural differences between the Indian boys who win the contest and come to America and um, John Hamm's character, the, the American sports agent. Uh, some movies do differences between cultures really, really well. This is one of those times where you say something and you can't think of a simple exam a single example. I can't think of a single example of one of those movies right now, but they exist. Trust me, they, they exist. Um, Million Dollar Arm wasn't one of those movies that do cultural differences really well. It's just really in your face and um, it just feels really forced and I don't think the movie needed it. Um, it. It was also a very generic story where, you know, the whole, you know, our main character is a bit of a jerk, he meets some people, they change his life, um, he starts to get better, he has a fallback and goes back to the person he used to be, but then something happens and he realises, oh, I don't need all that, and then he's a good guy again and we have a happy ending, and it's happily ever after. And watching the movie, it was very generic in that way, and I thought to myself, wow, you know, couldn't you have done something differently? But, you know, that's just the way it goes. Um, Million Dollar Arm had a lot of potential. I feel like it just, it didn't quite live up to the potential, especially from the trailer. It's one of those movies that looks a lot better in the trailer, which I guess is a majority of movies, but, yeah, Million Dollar Arm was disappointing. That being said, I still think that overall it was it was an enjoyable movie. It was a good experience. Um, very funny at times. There, there's a, one particular Indian character who was just hilarious, and you know the movie does it does humour well, and there's some really witty and smart dialogue in there. But you know all, all those things, it's it's few and far between. The movie could have used a lot more of that than the things they put in there. Um, now the most confusing thing to me was that. Uh, you know, I didn't see much of the marketing for Million Dollar Arm. It didn't come to Australia. It came to Australia, but it wasn't a very highly marketed movie. So, but but from what I saw of trailers and stuff, they really didn't stress the whole based on a true story thing. It wasn't um, a, a big focal point, which is why I, I didn't know it was based on a true story. So at the end, when it showed all the real life people, I, I was blown away. I, I didn't realize that this was a true story, which I think was incredible. And it also made me question, why did the movie feel so generic? You know, why did it feel like such a generic storyline when it's all based on a true story? Um, you know, I think, unfortunately, that just comes down to, you know, acting or you know, just the way the script was written. Whatever it was, it, it hurt the movie. But in the end, Million Dollar Arm, it's a fun movie. If you've got some spare time, I'd suggest watching it. Um, I'm going to give it a... Seven out of ten. Million Dollar Arm is a seven out of ten. Have you seen Million Dollar Arm? Did you enjoy it or not? Uh, 
comment and let us know. You know, like like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube. You know the drill. Um, so yeah, until next time. See ya.